Last transfer under Jurgen Klopp. Liverpool ace repays 35 denominator of faith after German's departure. Having waited until the final day of the transfer window to finalise the reconstruction of his Liverpool midfield, Jurgen Klopp expressed satisfaction with his summer acquisitions. The additions of Dominic Schoboschlei and Alexis McAllister were logical choices, and Wataru Endo appears to be the ideal replacement for the departing Fabinho, while Ryan Gravenberch's late 34 Meti transfer completed the set. Despite catching the attention of numerous clubs with his performances for Ajax and drawing comparisons to the legendary midfielder Clarence Seedorf, Gravenberg struggled to establish himself at Bayern Munich. Klopp, however, believed Liverpool had secured an exceptional talent upon his arrival at Anfield. At just 21, the midfielder demonstrated his skills as a goal-scoring midfielder, notably finding the net in Europa League victories over Union saint gilloise and Toulouse. While his unique abilities and pace in possession set him apart in the Liverpool midfield, some suggest he may not contribute enough at either end of the pitch. Although he had a slow start against Norwich in the FA Cup, Gravenberg's improved display as the game progressed suggests he is adapting to the demands of being a Liverpool player. Playing in a youthful midfield trio alongside James McConnell, 19, and Curtis Jones, 22, the Dutch international played a significant role in most of Liverpool's attacking moves and completed a full 90 minutes for the first time in his Anfield career. He capitalised on the opportunity by heading in Connor Bradley's cross from close range in added time, his first goal since scoring against Toulouse three months prior. Gravenberg could have secured a hat-trick if not for exceptional goalkeeping, and he is certainly contributing to Klopp 2.0's midfield. Alongside the likes of Soboslai and Jones, who also scored against Norwich, Liverpool now boasts three players outperforming last season's midfield in terms of goals and assists. For a debut season, it's a commendable contribution, and signs of defensive improvement against Norwich were evident too. He won seven of his 11 duels against the championship side and successfully executed all but one of his tackles. Such statistics may win over his critics further, but Klopp undoubtedly sees potential in him. Starting against Everton and Manchester United is a testament to the manager's belief in him. However, the performance against Norwich should serve as a platform for greater achievements in the second half of the season. Each member of Klopp's squad will play a role if the season is to conclude with a fitting finale for the German manager. Unless any unexpected January transfers occur, Gravenberg will be remembered in Liverpool history as Klopp's final signing. Now, it's up to the midfielder to ensure his legacy at Anfield is more than just that.